right, it looks like Brittany is ready and queued up. So we are going to go ahead and bring her to the stage. Uh, she is gonna be speaking to us on the topic, you are enough to dominate your emotional currency. Ooh, that's juicy, y'all. You are enough to dominate your emotional currency. All right, Brittany, the stage is yours. Awesome, awesome. Can you guys hear me and see me all right? We sure can. All right, all right. Well, again, thank you so much for having me. I did not think I was going to make it today, but God made sure that I showed up in this room today and he is going to be the one working through me. So I hope y'all are ready. So I like to start off with a question and I want y'all to let me know in the chat. We're going to get a little bit of interactive here, right? So if I had a hundred dollars that I could give you right now for every emotion that you've ever felt, how rich would you be? Now, I can probably hear y'all from home saying, girl, I'll be rich. Let me tell you, I'll be rich because sometimes I feel happy. Sometimes I'm, you know, extremely joyful. I'm energetic. And then other times I may feel sad. I may feel discouraged. I may have things going on. But, you know, regardless of the fact, all you asked me to do was feel. So give me my money, right? <laughs> I see y'all typing in the chat talking about rich, rich. <laughs> Jackie saying millionaire. We got Rachel saying two billion. Let me tell y'all, we would be rich, rich, right? So my question to you is, why don't we channel that in real life? Did you know that your emotions are directly tied to your currency? Everything that you think, everything that you feel, everywhere that you go, everything that you do is directly tied to your currency because a lot of the currency starts right up here in the brain right before we can bring it into the physical it starts here and we're either a magnet like a magnetic field or we tend to be a repeller now i wish i known this years and years ago when i was repelling money and i was throwing money away because i was like oh missed opportunity there a little bit of doubt a little bit of fear a little bit of you know, worry, I became that repellent versus those times where I'm feeling good. I have active faith, right? I know that everything that's happening around me is happening for me instead of to me. So I become that magnetic that pulls it in, right? So I'm here to say this, by the end of today, by the end of our 10 minutes that we'll have together, you're gonna to be able to unlock your emotional currency because we're gonna get it to where it starts up here, right? So my name is Brittany Green and I am the CEO and founder of Crown Financials, where on an everyday basis, I educate my students on how to increase their credit score anywhere from 50 to 300 points without having to hire a credit repair company. And it doesn't matter what strategy that I teach them. We always start here first, because in order to bring the desired results out here to, to the playing field, not only do we have to educate, right? Not only do we have to bring it to that forefront by thinking it first, we have to always put ourselves in that position to get over those obstacles because opposition will come. So we have to fine tune our brain so that we can, you know, tag into those resources, tag into those opportunities that push opposition out of the way. And the first way that we're able to do that is right here again. I need somebody to say, my mind is golden. Type that in the chat for me. My mind is golden because that's your ticket, right? And like I said, I wish I knew this years ago. For me, this journey started back in 2018, November 6th to be exact. That was the day that my corporate company decided we don't want you anymore. None of the services that you can provide is what our company needs anymore. And I wasn't prepared for that because I thought that their approval was everything that I needed. I was pouring all of my emotional currency, my mindset currency, everything into that position so when it was stripped and pulled away from me you ever been like standing on something and it's like a rug just ripped right from under you it took me losing everything to then find it again i went through being you know what we consider homeless i didn't have a home of my own i had family and friends that cared for me 
right? But I didn't have my own stability of what I considered my own. And I started to have what we call a pity party, feeling bad for myself, not knowing what was going to happen next. And the only thing that I'm saying out of my mouth is, I can't afford this. I can't figure this out. Like, it, it's not going to work. This business is small. It's not going to work. How is it going to afford my lifestyle? And it wasn't until sentences and I started asking open-ended questions that I opened my neurological pathways for God to pour opportunities in me, right? It happened to be one day I was at my friend's house and I was sleeping on this little couch cushion and I was, I was literally face to, to, to the ceiling and I was listening to Les Brown because I would wake up at six in the morning every single morning because I said, you know what? I got to turn my life around. So I would wake up and I would say, you know what? Let me turn on some Les Brown. And as I'm lit, sitting there on my back looking up, I heard that saying, if you can look up, you can get up. And boy, did I get up and I started shouting that day. I said, oh, yes. I was already looking up. So all I had to do was get up. So I say this to you today. It doesn't matter what it is that you're going through. It doesn't matter what opposition is against you. If you're ill, I was ill on Monday. I was in the bed. You wouldn't have seen me today. You wouldn't have seen me today, but I knew that that purpose was much bigger. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what may feel like is against you. Understand, we're going to look at it a different way because I'm going to teach you the method that I use. It's called the ACE method. And this lets me know that I'm number one. ACE stands for one, right? I'm number one. So it didn't matter what was up against me. If somebody's ill, if somebody just passed away, if you just lost your job or COVID took a toll on your family, understand that a lot of things had to get moved and shift for you to be able to develop that story because it's not for you. It's, it's for someone else. You have to speak your truth to someone else. So I started with the empty cup. Now, an empty cup, but remember, I'm the trophy. Now, I don't know if y'all can see this right here, but it says, it's a trophy, and it says, you are number one. So when, when I talk about that ACE method, ACE stands for number one. I started with that empty cup, right? And what did I do to fill up my emotional currency? I started to see different before it actually stepped into the knowing. I saw my condo. I saw my car. I saw myself as the prize. I saw myself speaking on stages just like this before it even came into play. Yes, please put it in the chat. I am the trophy. I am the trophy. Come on, Deborah. Come on, JJ. I am the trophy. Now we're going to work on filling it up because remember those $100 bills I was trying to give y'all in the beginning? Now we're going to fill our trophy up. The ACE method. A, it stands for accept. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Let's make it real, right? Let's make it real. A, accept. Accept where you are and be unmoved with whatever's going on. Accept and adjust and say, you know what? This is happening for me to, be, to get to the next level, not to me, right? So start off with A, accept and adjust and say, you know what? I'm where I'm supposed to be in this moment. God got a bigger plan for me. C, number two, let's fill up this cup, right? Celebrate. Baby, I started celebrating. <laughs> I started celebrating my failures. I started celebrating my wins because you guess what? You know what that did? It built a momentum. And I started failing forward. I didn't fail backwards. I started drawing in those opportunities closer and closer to me because you know what? I started saying, you know what? I found a way that didn't work. Woo! I found a way that didn't work. And I started to celebrate that and say, I, that was a way that didn't work, but God got a way that's gonna work for me, right? And then I went on to E. I executed over and over and over again. And you know, once I started filling up my cup with my emotional currency, Seeing it before it got here, it started coming in the physical. It started coming in the physical. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing, y'all. Y'all see me stuffing, my, <laughs> stuffing your bosom. Y'all know what it is. Y'all women know what it is. We stuff our bosom <laughs> with the money. You got to keep executing. You got to keep going towards the race. It's a, it's, it's a marathon. Not a, And I, I, I'll, I'll correct that. It's a marathon, not a race. You got to keep going. There'll be times when you get tired. Just rest. 
There'll be times when things get shaken up. That's okay. Wipe the sweat off. Tan the towel back to God. Say, rain this out for me real quick while I keep going. Because you are enough. You are enough. Please type that in the chat. I am enough. Type I am enough in the chat. To, and, and I'm telling you, I want you to repeat this at home, in your mirror. I am enough to control my emotional currency. Whatever I think and whatever I say comes to be. Because God is a God of wealthy and a God is a God of abundance. There is nothing too big for God. There may be some things that are too big for our own two eyes to see, but not his. Okay? So I want to leave you guys with this. No matter what it is that you're going through, no matter the ups, no matter the downs, you are enough to always, to always control and to master your emotional currency, to bring whatever you think, or whatever you feel into fruition. Bye guys. Come on, Brittany. Look, look at the youngsters bringing the heat, bringing the fire. Come on now.